Hey gamers, today, I will provide you with a complete movement guide. So without further ado, let's jump right into the video. So, first, let's go over the moves you'll need to make in a 1v1 gunfight. I can guarantee that, most of you guys watching either jump or crouch spam in a gunfight. The first thing you should do is put an end to it. Let's go on to talk about why you shouldn't be jumping in a gunfight, reason number one is, the airtime in Halo Infinite is long, cause of that, the enemy can easily kill you. The second reason is that, as you jump, your cursor moves higher as well, so you'll need to handle both recoil and cursor movement. Let us now discuss why you should not crouch spam. Because headshots aren't important in this game, most players will shoot for the body. Since that, your crouch spams will be useless. Instead of jumping and crouching, you can strafe from left to right, or right to left to completely confuse your opponent. You can also, strafe to right while holding crouch, because you will be blocked by your opponent's gun. After that, you can hug an object and play peaks, which is the most effective and widely utilized way by professionals to win 1v1 and even 1v2 battles. And one more thing, most players will not expect a slide from an opponent, because of that, you should utilize a slide to throw them off when you start a fight. Then these are some of the game's more advanced movement techniques. Everyone who watches this video knows that, when you jump and slide, you gain momentum and go faster than sprinting. This next technique is an upgraded version of this. How to do this trick, you may ask, it's simple, first you need to sprint, then you need to jump, and after you need to hold your crouch button, then you will be sliding in a max speed, after that you can jump again to gain more momentum, then there's the curb slide, which is a far more complicated method. So, here's how it's done. You must first climb to a high objective, then sprint away from it, and finally, as soon as you touch the ground, hold the crouch button. You'll have a faster slide as a result of this. The crouch must be perfectly timed, and the timing and the momentum you gain will vary from objective to objective. So because this needs to be perfectly timed, I believe it is one of the most difficult mechanics in Halo Infinite to master. However, you must practice it, because this is the game's next skill gap. Here's a drill to help you get comfortable with the move. The experts have already discovered numerous next level tricks from this curb slide, let's take a look at few of them. So, once you've mastered curb slides, try out these moves. Don't rush, if you practice 15 to 30 minutes a day for 14 days, I guarantee you'll be able to master curb slides. At last but not least, you need to gain map knowledge. How? May you ask? It's simple, all you have to do is play the game. If you ask why, I'll explain. You need to gain map knowledge, because understanding maps will allow you to learn new shortcuts like this. Do you know where you can learn more shortcuts? Right here, because we bring new educational content about Halo Infinite every week. If you don't want to miss out, subscribe and turn on notifications. So, that concludes today's video. I hope you enjoyed it and learned something new. Then as always, I'll see you in the next video. Until then, stay safe and take care. Victory.